I'm hanging out behind Activision at the moment with this cool backdrop talking all things Destiny. And to help me with this, I've got Pete, who is the Chief Operating Officer. That's which right. is basically like the big dude, the guy who knows everything. So let's talk Destiny. Yeah, well, we're excited to be here. We've been working on this project for a long, long time. You know, Halo was awesome. We spent a decade working on it. But we decided to build an all-new universe, and uh, this is the very first chance at E3 that we've been able to show what gameplay is like. It's kind of like you had a child, and you, it grew up, and it moved out of home, and you're like, oh, I'm lonely, and I want to create something else. Yes, it feels a lot like <laughs> that. And you know, a lot of the most of the team that created Halo One is still in the studio. So this is like getting the band back together and building an all-new universe, and uh, hopefully change the way you think about games. So it's not Halo. It is. A, it is quite different, but it, it's yeah. still a first-person shooter. Yeah, which, you know, action games and shooters are something that we that we love, but we really felt like we had an opportunity to do something entirely new, to ch really change how shooters work, and so that's that's exactly what we've done. If you like Halo, you like Call of Duty, Battlefield, you're going to love Destiny, but now it's all about you as the hero, you playing with your friends, uh, and really doing doing going on many adventures and exploring the universe of this. I have noticed it is a little bit less about sort of war and destruction and killing and it's kind yeah. of got more of a storyline here and what I really liked about it when I saw it at the showcase were the different classes that you're able to play in multiplayer. Yes. That's something for me that you know we haven't seen really before from a bungee game and I'm I, I love that. So let's go yeah. through the classes and get excited. Yeah, that's great. So we have the, the warlock which is uh, both a magic user uh, and great with a rifle. We have the, magic. the hunter uh, which is more stealthy. Uh, and then you have the Titan, which is like the big tank that goes in. All of them can deal with space magic, which we think is awesome, and that was a really important part of what we wanted to do. It's fun shooting aliens in the face, but it's also great using kind of this magic that maybe science, maybe magic, we're not quite sure yet what it is. So it's like you've got the gun, but you've also got the ability. Like... Absolutely. We, we, we love those abilities. And then what we love is the investment, so that you can build your character for you know months, years even. And then take that character that you've invested so much time in and you can take it into any kind of battle whether you're in great story narrative that we have or multiplayer you'll always be able to take that same build wherever you go and then when you want to try something else that's great just build up another character and also weapons you can build up i noticed that when in the yeah. demonstration there was this awesome weapon that had like lightning attached to it yep that's right heaven <laughs> yeah that was an example of an exotic weapon so you know weapons that have are brimming with like electric fire or the power of the sun like we think that we think that's awesome and you can continue to grow their attributes and customize them over time same with your armor as well but you're never gonna have to fight other players to get cool stuff because we have something called the private loot stream which means that all of the when you when you kill combatants all of that all that great loot is just for you uh, that's good because you're never fighting with other people over that loot right. and it gives you a reason to go back into places that you've already been before to find new stuff because it's always for you so there's obviously again a single player campaign and a multiplayer yeah the way to think about it is uh, we built uh, the game from the ground up so you can have great narrative, so you can play it absolutely by yourself, but we try to make sure that it was built from the ground up with cooperative play in mind, so you're always a good reason to play with friends. You know, anything fun to do is more fun to do with or in front of your friends, and that's exactly the approach we took with Destiny. And is it more exciting making a game for a next-gen console? It is, I and mean, we, we want to make sure that on any platform uh, that you're going to have a great time with Destiny, but... but you know, the next-gen consoles have thought a lot a lot about the stuff we're thinking about, which is how do we create these groups of people that are playing together, having fun together, uh, and really having great experiences together, and that's exactly what they're focusing on. That, you know, the visuals are pretty awesome. That's exci exciting times. So this is kind of for the person that likes to play with other people, get the headsets, kind of join in and, and play together. Yeah, I mean, and really, I think... Where we, we know rule of one, where you take somebody who says, I really don't like playing with other people, 
don't want to do it. And yet, when they enter the, the world of Destiny, they find themselves playing by themselves, and then they come into a public area, a public event, and all of a sudden they find themselves playing with other people, and maybe along the way, they make some friends. Yay! I'm definitely going to do it. Let's play favorites. What's yours out of The Hunter, The Titan, and The, the Warlock? I got I to admit, I love being a Warlock. Yeah? I, I just love, you know, there's nothing like throwing a huge purple Nova bomb and watching enemies scatter. Uh, and, you know, it's my love, happy place too. So I mean, I, I love that kind of stuff. It's great, and you know, and, and the warlock has great. It's not just a support class like in many games when you come across warlocks. Mm -hmm. Warlocks are badass. Like they deliver serious offensive power. Oh, no, d defensive healing at all? Uh, there are there is some of that because every class has its own tweaks. But yeah. it, but you're still you know you're not weak as a warlock. You're definitely okay. a guardian of the city. Getting a little bit geeky with that. We need a healer. <laughs> we need a healer. Um, so if people haven't played any kind of game like this before, why Destiny? Why now? Well, I think, you know, what we try to do is not just make great games, make great entertainment. You know, we, we want you to think about the universe of Destiny and put it on the same shelf of experiences like Harry Potter or Star Wars or anything else. I love, I love Star and, Wars. And so, so hopefully you'll see the world we're creating and just say, I want to be there. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I just want to be there and you'll, you'll come and try it out. Fantastic. Thank you yeah. so much. When can we expect the game? Uh, 2014. We haven't yet to call a date yet, yeah. so we're a ways out. But we're already <sighs> playing every day in the studio. It's oh, exciting. you will? Yes, okay. We are. And then I'll play and then we can play together. Yes, that's right. Because I think I'm going to go hunt up. Okay. Mm, Hunter's Ooh. good. Yeah. Thanks right. again, Pete. Thank you.